Remember Claude Engineer? It's an interactive framework that leverages Claude 3.5 Sonnet's model to assist in software development tasks. I used it to create a calendar app as well as an interactive game with sounds and animation. It's a great framework that was created by Pytro, who is an AI engineer that creates many AI tools and frameworks that are open source so that people can utilize it completely for free as well as extending it forward. Now recently, he launched a new AI coding framework that is an evolution of Cloud Engineer. It supports all models, search, as well as multi-file editing simultaneously. This is where I would like to introduce Omni Engineer. Omni Engineer is a spiritual successor to Cloud Engineer. It was built from an extensive usage of handmade AI tools, trial and error, and feedback. Compared to Claude Engineer, this new script allows for more control while leaving some of the other functionalities such as a fully automated flow or the ability to run code out of it. Now at the same time, it brings some cool new features like multi-file editing, you have save and resume features of chats, as well as providing a more solid AI editing experience. I see this framework as a more suitable approach for people who want to actually code with a better assistant on their side versus something that is fully automatic, which is something that you would see with Cloud Engineer. This is something that you can work with interactively to create and code out fully different types of generation. In this video demo, you'll see that you can interactively work with the Omni Engineer to basically create this calendar app. You can change different functionalities. You can see that you can talk to it to create a scientific calculator and add different ins instructions and functionalities. And there you go. This is a scientific calculator that was fully coded out and customized based off the preference that was given within a couple of seconds with Omni Engineer. Omni Engineer is quite advanced and it's actually console based. So you're going to be able to design and improve your development workflows by integrating AI features into your CLI. It offers smart assistance with coding queries, file management, web searches, as well as email processing. Now, it is something that builds on top of Cloud Engineer, but it also takes away certain things such as the automatic feature that you would have with the generation with Cloud Engineer. But it has a lot of new features, including multi-file editing and the ability to save and resume chats. You have file management, you have web searching, you have undo functionalities, conversation save and load. You have different commands that you can utilize, such as adding files. You can add and edit file paths, new file paths, searching uh, web searches, adding image to context, clearing AI memory, resetting the sessions, and so much more. So now what we're going to be doing is installing it and showcase how you can get started with Omni Engineer. Before we get started with the installation, there's a couple prerequisites that we're going to need beforehand. You're going to need to make sure that you have Git installed, which is an app that we're going to be utilizing to clone this repository onto our desktop. Make sure that you have Python installed as our programming language, VS Code. And in this case, for the language model that you're going to be utilizing, you can utilize any model from Open Router. They have a lot of open source models. They actually recommend utilizing Open Router, but you can even utilize local models like Olama so that you don't have any sort of expense of utilizing these other API costs. You can also even utilize OpenAI or Anthropic's uh, different models. So definitely utilize the model that of your preference. But once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, what you want to do is copy this first command, which is git clone the GitHub repository. Once you have copied it, you want to go over to your command prompt if you're on Windows. Open this up, paste this link in, and click enter. This will start cloning this repository. Once it finishes doing that, get into the CD Omni Engineer folder by typing in CD Omni Engineer. Once you have done that, what you're going to do is open up VS Code. Once you have opened up VS Code, you want to click on create a new window. You want to then go over to open up the folder of Omni Engineer wherever you cloned it. So I'm going to quickly find it. In this case, I cannot find it quickly there we go i have it opened up go over to the dot and dot example file what you want to do first is click on renaming it by right clicking on this and then taking out the dot example and clicking enter now if you go over to the dot the main.py file if you scroll over you can see that you can change the provider or the client so if you're going to be utilizing open router you can keep it as the base url for open router and provide or just input the API key from Open Router into VS Code. But you can also utilize other models and you can even utilize a base URL from Olama. 
To retrieve this, just simply search up Olama's base URL or OpenAI's base URL and put it over here. And then you would want to just paste in the dot and or the API key over here of that particular model or that whatever provider that you're utilizing. Now, there's also two different models that you're going to be using. You're going to be using a default model, which is going to be the main agent and an editor model. So you want to specify which one that you're going to be utilizing. You can specify other common models by simply pasting in the model card into the correct area. And once you have done that, you can simply then just click on file. Once you have inputted everything, just simply click on save and then we can move forward with the next step. So I'm going to quickly put in my API key so that we can get started. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. And once you have set your API key, what you can do is install the desired or required packages. Go back into your command prompt and just paste this into the right directory. I'm going to start installing everything that is needed. And while it is installing, what you can do is just simply copy the main script to run this Omni engineer on our computer. So we're going to paste this in once it has finished installing. We're going to paste it in and clicking enter. And you can see that it has now started up the UI or the console. Now it looks like I have an error because I have not increased my limit on open router. So I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be right back. So now let's test this out. I'm going to request it to basically create a finance app that can manage user expenses and income with these. And I added a couple other details. So let's send this into Omni Assistant or Engineer. And it's going to then work on creating a plan first. And you can see it's working on creating this you're going to be able to save a file afterwards. And after it has finished generating this application for me, I'm going to then have it hosted on my server to see how it looks to showcase that. So let's see the output of Omni engineer for this finance app. And there we go. We have this really cool interactive app that was created. And this is something that will help us track our expenses, our income, and there's actually animations also to it. You can see that you can add different things. You can enter expenses such as food. And then you can say the amount. Let's just say 10 bucks. You can add the expense and you're going to be able to see this over here on the spending pattern chart. You're going to have alerts also. And you can see that you can generate different monthly reports. Now, obviously, this is something that you can change different uh, currencies to. But you would want to configure this in the back end. But you can see that the front end component is fully developed with Omni engineer and I simply had to just edit a couple components and I was able to develop it within a couple seconds. Now, one of the features I want to mention is that you can add images and this is something that I haven't seen with any coding framework. You're going to be able to generate these images and you can see that in this case, he's generating an image for a bottle and there you go. You have an image generated that you can integrate into your workflows. Now, I know this is something that it might not be 100% useful for all coders, but you can see that you can generate images for your different coding workflows, your front ends or your back ends. Obviously, it might not be the best quality of images, but you can see that it is something that you can pair with something like Flux or even Stable Diffusion to get amazing outputs for images. At the end of the day, Omni Engineer is a streamlined console based AI development tool and it's focused on simplicity and user control basically based off the file management feature and the web searching and image processing capabilities. Whereas Cloud Engineer, on the other hand, is an automatic AI coding based framework that provides an extensive software development feature. This is where it has in-depth coding analysis, execution and automation capabilities. Whereas this one is more of a coding based tool that you can utilize AI agents to help you. You have two agents, you have the engineer agent as well as the main agent that can help you execute tools. And along the way, you're going to be able to get a detailed and specialized functionalities such as image, as well as web searching to help you generate better content and code. And that is it for today's video. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.